Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from The Ratchet Life. And today I'm doing a pickup video of games that I've picked up because if I have them already installed on my system and I like to have the physical version of that same game. Or some of these games are games that I've just picked up because I wanted them and some of these games are picked up for just flip purposes. But we'll get right into it right now and start off with Titanfall. I know this is an old game, you probably can't even play it anymore, but I have it installed on my Xbox One and I always wanted it physical. So I went to GameStop, they had it for like $1.51 for Canada Day. They were giving this and a few other games for $1.51. So it's something that's gonna probably go on to my shelf. I had a lot of fun when I did play it. It did get very tiresome very fast because there wasn't very much content to the game, but it was a great game nonetheless. I enjoyed it a lot. Next up is a game that I've heard a lot about and because of the first game Titanfall I had to pick up the second I picked this up at EB games I think it was for like 15 bucks probably less than $15 and I heard the story in the main campaign is fantastic and the online is a little bit better for the gameplay so when I found out that this was a cheap game I wanted to pick it up and I can't wait to play it but I have a game that's pushing back a lot of these games and for good reason. The game that's pushed it back is something that I can't stop playing. It's so good. The story basically rivals movies. I'll get into that a little bit later on. Next up, I picked up God of War 4. Another game I'm dying to play, but because I'm in the middle of a certain game, I can't play this just yet. I'm biding my time. I'm dying to play it. And I've heard nothing but great things about it. It's a lot different than the first three. So this one I'm really looking forward to getting into. But I have to wait until I finish the next game that's going to be on this list. Final Fantasy XV. Another game I heard so much about, great game. Looking forward to actually cracking into this and delving probably the 100 hours that is required to play this game. I'm probably gonna do just the main campaign or the main missions of this game to actually get through it as quickly as possible. My backlog is just ridiculous with 40, 50, 60, even 100 hour games that I wanna play and can't divulge that much time and not give the chance of another game that I want to play because like I said I when I pick up a game I like to play them all for the most part if I do enjoy it and the game that I am playing and I am enjoying and I've taken a lot of time and actually love this game like rivaling movies and that's Witcher 3. This game is fantastic I am about probably on act two going on act three and it's, it's an amazing game. The story is so good. It rivals movies, like I said. The writing is so good. The continuous scenes of, of, of things that you wouldn't think that they would grab notice to, they actually notice. And it's it's a lot of you know the great writing and great storytelling in this game. If you haven't played it, oh my God, what a great, great game. I'm so glad that I actually picked this up. Probably one of my favorite games of this generation. It's a masterpiece and I'm probably gonna say it's Rivals Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Even though they're two different games, I think this game is like blows that one out of the water. And the truth shall set you free. This is just a fantastic game. These games are masterpieces in their own right. I just need to finish and play a game to its entirety of at least the main campaign till I go in and enjoy another game. It's just the way I am. I have to play a game and enjoy it and experience it. If I'm going to spend the money, I want to play the game and enjoy the story if there is a story at all. Well, anyways, please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.